Hello, my name is Veikko Verronen and this here is CCE 153 Vacuum Controlled Cooling Station. I'm here about to tell you of the commissioning of this cooling station. Cooling station is first mounted to the ground from six connection points and from upper connection points from the main frame. Secondly, cooling station is connected to the coolant lines, to power electronics and to technical water lines from the back of the cooling station. Make sure to connect the inlet and outlet to the correct lines. Next, the cooling station electrical connections are done. Make sure that the cooling station is first properly grounded. Next, the cooling station power can be turned on. Cooling system pipeline should be leakage tested with air, and the air can be filled from the expansion tank. Cooling system pressure can be monitored from the vacuum monitor. Increase the cooling station pressure approximately to 3 bars during the leakage test. While doing the leakage test, you can check if the PP1 and PP2 are showing similar pressures. Also, PP1 and PP2 should be showing similar temperatures. This shows that the sensors are showing correct values. When the pressure is raised to 3 bars, check pipelines for the visible leakages. The cooling station has been already pressure tested during the FAT, so the cooling station does not need any pressure testing. Next, the cooling station can be filled. First, make sure that all walls on the coolant line are open and make sure that the coolant is compatible with aluminium. Make sure that all the automatic deairing points in the pipeline and on the cooling station are open during the filling. While filling the cooling station, de-air the pumps from pump manual de-airing points. When the cooling system is filled, the pressure test can be done for the pipeline. While doing the pressure test, remove all the air from the expansion tank and remember to shut off the valve before the safety valve. After the pressure test, decrease the pressure to 1.2 bars and add air to expansion tank to lower the expansion tank level to nominal level. After this, open the valve under the safety valve. Make sure that the pumps are rotating to the correct direction. This can be done 
by selecting the pump one or two and switching to the service mode. Check with light if the fans are rotating to the same direction as shown on the yellow sticker on top of the pump. Next, the de-airing is done. De-airing is done in service mode and it is done with pump 1 and pump 2. While doing the de-airing, make sure that valve 13 is open and all the de-airing valves are also open in cooling system and also in the pipeline. The de-airing is done when the coolant color turns clear. Coolant color can be monitored from the side glass here. When the de-airing is done, remember to close the V13 and also all the de automatic de-airing valve. Now the cooling station has been commissioned and it's ready for operation. Thank you for watching.